Morning guys! Uh, what day is it? It's Wednesday. I was about to say happy Thursday. Happy Wednesday! So today is day seven, which means that if you've joined me every morning, this will be one full week of morning yoga. So well done to everyone that has done all seven days, but also no critique if uh, perhaps you've skipped a day or two. Every little helps as a uh, as they say. So today's flow, a um, little bit more flexibility based. Um, it's a little bit of a mandala flow, which means that at one point we face the back of the mat. Uh, so don't think that you've got it wrong when suddenly you find yourself facing backwards. Don't worry, it loops back round to come back to the front. <coughs> so we'll start in child's pose. Let those knees go wider than your hips, about as wide as your mat. And then sitting your bum to your heels and your hands to slide away. Let that head rest to the mat. Let your eyes close for a moment and just allow yourself to breathe. Drawing the breath in through the nose and slowly releasing it back out. Maybe giving a little push of the hands against the mat to sink your hips a little closer towards your heels. And just feel the sides of the body grow wider with each breath in. And feel the front of the body sink deeper with each breath out. Notice that sense of space within your body on your breath in. And that sense of softness and calm on the way out. Carry that idea with you for the rest of the practice. You can then walk your hands in to bring yourself up onto your shins and just step your knees a little bit close together so you're sat onto the knees. Interlace the hands, turn the palms to face forwards, push the palms away as the chin comes to the chest, hollowing out the belly. Use the inhale, hands to the sky, gazing up towards them. And as you exhale, a nice slow backstroke as you broaden through the chest and guide the palms together behind your back, interlace to a fist, and take a deep breath in as you draw the fist to the floor. Lift the chin away from the chest and open into the front of the body. Pause and hold here as you squeeze the shoulder blades together. Take a deep belly breath. And then as you exhale, release and draw your body upright. The right fingertips just to rest onto the mat slightly behind you. As you inhale, let the left arm go up and over. Feel that left side body get long. And then just allow that arm to start drawing some nice big circles. Maybe the gaze can follow or you can just find some small movements in the neck. Allowing all that, those little movements to wake up. And you can make those circles then go in the opposite direction really focusing on a nice broad open chest. On that final circle, draw your hand back towards neutral and then take it the other side. Left hand just behind you on a bit of a diagonal. Right arm starts to make some nice big circles. Letting the neck find some movements. Maybe there's a couple of clicks, there's a couple of cracks. And then changing direction as you draw that arm all the way round in the other direction. From there, drawing the hands onto the mat in front of you, bringing yourself towards tabletop. Start to find some movements in the spine. As you inhale, lift through the chest, gaze forwards, press sit bones to the sky. And as you exhale, broaden the upper back as you press the spine upwards, hollowing out the belly. Good, breathing in, lifting chest, squeezing together the shoulder blades. Breathing out to push, to hollow out the belly and tuck the tailbone. Lovely, keep moving with that breath. Breathing in, looking forwards. Breathing out, looking back. And then last one, breathing in. And breathing out. And then as you draw yourself back towards tabletop, perhaps just widen the distance between wrists and knees. Most of us do for a down dog. We then want to tuck the toes under, lift the hips up, take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, let the knees drop back down towards tabletop just for a moment. Again, like that, breathing in, hips up and back, 
press the chest back. Breathing out to ripple down and the knees drop. One more, inhale, lifting tall. And exhale to drop to the knees. Lovely, find your way back into your down dog, pausing this time, finding that nice openness through the armpits. Maybe a soft press of one heel and then the other down towards the mat as the legs have a pedal. Allow the legs to become still. Find that firm push into the hands as the thighs press back. Filling the lungs as you breathe in. Finding that lift of sit bones as you breathe out. And then as you breathe in, send your gaze to the top of the mat. We're going to walk the feet in to come to meet the wrists. Trying to keep the hands down for as long as possible, letting them release when they need to. And then ragdoll fold at the top of the mat. Soft bend of the knees, upper body to dangle. Option to sway and just allow those hamstrings to feel a little longer. Great, and then from there, let your fingertips come to your shins just below your knees. As you inhale, come to a halfway lift. So tabletop spine, flat back, thighs pressing backwards and shoulders away from the ears. Think of rolling the sit bones out behind you. The hamstrings should feel very stretched here. See if you can engage the muscles on the front of the legs. One more as you pause, breathe in. And then breathing out to forward fold as your hands touch the mat. With a nice strong inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Take your arms to the sky, arms alongside the ears. And as you exhale, let the right hand come alongside your body. Taking those top fingertips slightly up and over, feeling that left side body lengthen. Think of rolling the chest, left chest slightly back as you push the hips a little towards the left. Inhale, two arms to the sky, grow tall. And then exhale, left hand to your side, lean across in that direction, roll the right chest back, maybe look to the sky. Use the inhale to come all the way upright, arms rising. And as you exhale, forward fold, send the hands to the mat, let those knees bend, push the sit bones into the sky. Use the inhale for the hands to come back to the shins, find that halfway lift, long torso. And then as you exhale, hands to the floor, the right foot is going to take a big long stride back into a lunge as you drop down onto that knee. Use a deep breath in, chest rises, arms come up and overhead. Think of lifting your upper body up and over as your hips stay driving forwards and down. Breathing in and breathing out. Then let your left hand come to your waist. Take a side lean as you reach over towards the left hand side. Think of the hips moving a little right and again the chest rolling open. Take one deep breath into that right rib cage. Let it feel longer. And then as you exhale the arm in the sky, hook the elbow around the thigh. Let the palms come to meet as you then press the hands together, taking a twist looking over left shoulder. Encourage the hips to stay forwards and down, turning the entire torso right down towards belly button. Great, breathing in. As you breathe out, undo the twist, the hands come to the floor, and then shift your hips back until you're roughly on top of your back knee. As you flex your front toes to the sky, your fingertips to stay down for support, stretching left hamstring. Think of the chest lengthening forwards, trying to keep a long flat back, come higher if you need to. Giving the back of this left heel a bit of a push down into the floor. Breathing in as you pause. And then lower body stays as it is. As you exhale, walk your hands off towards the left hand side. The further you go, the more challenging it's going to feel for the body. So maybe just go a small distance to begin with. 
Think of pushing the left sit bone a little backwards and drawing the right pelvis a little forwards. Take one more breath here. And then as you exhale, walk yourself back around towards centre and then keep walking off to the right side. The kneeling leg, I want you to kick the foot off the back of the mat. So as you come to rise up, the front foot is still pointing forwards. Left arm, that forearm, as you inhale, right arm to the sky and then sink into the lunge into this front leg. I call it a wonky lunge. Reach those top fingertips up and over. Inner thighs, very much feeling this one. Great, deep breath in. As you breathe out, draw yourself up tall. The right hand is going to go down onto the back of the mat. The left arm to go all the way up and over as you find yourself into this supported side plank. Left arm alongside the ear so you can push that left rib cage to the sky. Just one more deep breath in. And then lift the left leg, bend the knee and let the left hand see if it can come to cuff, catch that foot behind you as you give it a kick. Feel the front of the whole left side of the body open. Strong kick of the leg, feel the left chest stretch too. Inhale. As you exhale, release the leg, turn yourself to face the back of the mat. Step the foot back into down dog, hips go high, chest pushes back, and here we are facing backwards. Breathing in. Breathing out. And again to inhale and to exhale. We're then going to guide the right foot to the top of the mat. Help it there if it needs, bring the right foot between the hands as you drop the back knee to the floor. Use an inhale to lift through your chest into a low lunge. Left glutes are engaged, reaching the chest tall. Take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, right hand comes to your waist, taking that little side lean off to one side, trying to keep the chest up rather than folding it forwards. One more breath. On the exhale, hook the elbow to the outside of the thigh. Palms come together as you then push the elbow into the leg and take the gaze over the right shoulder. Belly holds in. Face stays soft. Last one, inhale. As you exhale, hands come down to the mat. Shift your hips back so they're on top of your back knee roughly. You can readjust your feet if you need to. Flex the front toes to the sky. The leg doesn't need to be straight. Give the back of the right heel a push down against the floor and let the chest stay pulling slightly forwards. Breathing in and breathing out. From here, lower body stays as it is. Walk your hands off towards the right side of your mat. So the body kind of twists off. Feel the top of the thighs kind of spiral in towards each other, keeping these front toes right up towards the sky. Don't let them twist with you. Great, breathing in. As you breathe out, come all the way back round towards center and then walk your hands off towards the left. Your kneeling leg, you're gonna kick the foot off to one side and as you draw yourself up, this front leg is bent. Right arm to rest onto that thigh. As you inhale, left arm rises. And as you exhale, little bend into that knee, drawing that left side body nice and long. That's a big stretch for the morning. Inhale. As you exhale, come all the way up. Left hand comes back to the top of the mat. Right arm reaches up and over alongside the ear. So that top right side of the body feels nice and long. Push the rib cage to the sky, maybe even gazing up. The right leg is then gonna lift off of the mat, bend the knee and see if the hand in the sky can come to catch that foot behind you. 
Give it a kick back as you open the front of the chest. Opening the front of that right hip flexor. Lovely, last one, breathe in. And then as you breathe out, release it, turn yourself back to the top of the mat and press your way back into down dog. Completing the circle as you find your way back forwards. Breathing in. And breathing out. With the right leg, as you inhale, send it to the sky, three-legged dog. On the exhale, we're drawing the leg into pigeon. So the knee is going to go just a little bit wider than the right wrist and the shin is on a diagonal. Let the back leg shuffle away from you until you feel a stretch in your outer right hip, making sure your knee feels no pressure, no pain. Once you've found that nice level pelvis, your forearms perhaps can rest down towards the mat. Take a deep breath in and slowly breathing out. You can then stack yourself back up onto the hands if perhaps you lowered down. Sit yourself off towards the right side of your mat so that you can then sweep your back leg forwards. So now the left leg is forwards and the right sole of the foot can come to match the inner of the left thigh. Let that leg fall out. Take a deep breath in and lengthen your torso. And then keep that length and think of sending it forwards as you fold. Maybe hands can fold foot, uh, hold foot. You could use a strap or a different part of your leg. Heel presses forwards, toes flex back. Great, breathing in. And then releasing your foot as you breathe out, sitting yourself tall. Take this right leg that's off to one side, cross it over to the opposite side of the leg. Right hand goes behind you, breathing in, left arm to the sky. And as you exhale, hook that elbow around the leg as you send the gaze over the right shoulder. Grow tall with each inhale. Keep turning as you exhale. You can then unravel, draw yourself back to face centre. Just allow yourself to roll over the ankles or turn the ankles round. Step the feet back, send the hips high to down dog as we come to take those shapes on the second side. Inhale, left leg rises to the sky. Exhale, sending the knee just a little bit wider than the left wrist. The shin is diagonal across the mat and the back leg can then shuffle away as little or as much as it needs to for you to find that left hip stretch. You could then choose to go down to the forearms if you wish, keeping the chest nice and long, giving the whole front leg a little bit of a push down into the floor. Great, one more breath in. As you breathe out, stack yourself back up onto the hands. Your bum is gonna sit off towards the left hand side as you sweep that right leg round. That right leg is forward, sole of the left foot to the inner thigh. The inhale lets the arms reach tall, growing long inside body. And as you exhale, send that length forwards, maybe holding the foot, maybe holding a different part of the leg. Each inhale is creating that space in the lower back, the lower belly. And the exhale to encourage the fold. And then releasing the foot as you sit yourself upright. Take the left leg over to the other side. Ground the sole of the foot, left hand behind you. Breathe in, right arm rises. And breathe out, elbow hooks around the thigh, looking over left shoulder using that arm behind you to help your body stay upright, body weight leaning forwards. And 
And then allow yourself to unravel, untwist. Feet to come to the floor, slowly allowing yourself to release your way down onto your back. Shoulders and head to softly rest down before the legs step out. Allowing yourself this short moment of rest. Feeling that rise and fall of the chest, allowing the face to soften and the lips loosen. And then taking that nice awakening breath in, maybe stretching above the head, reaching out through toes. And then give yourself a nice little hug, a little squeeze. And softly allow yourself to roll back to seated. Chest sits nice and tall. Your final inhale sends the arms to the sky as you gaze up. And your final exhale to draw the hands to the belly as the chin lowers down to the chest. Well done guys, good old stretch out to start your day. I hope that's left you feeling energized and ready to tackle your day. Um, thank you so much for everyone that's been leaving your comments for me to hear about how you'll find the challenge. I love reading my way through those each day. Um, as I mentioned yesterday, do make sure to leave a comment on the videos if you wanted to enter to win a Manduka yoga mat by the end of the challenge. And I hope that I can see you again tomorrow, live at 7am um, for 